Okay, I'm just uh, building a couple stair stringers to go into my exterior doors on my house. They're kind of small ones, but I thought I'd just show an easy way of making some stair stringers. Um, the first thing you want to do is just figure out how tall your total rise is. In my case, going from my garage floor to my uh, house floor is 23 and a half inches. So you divide that by, uh, well, eight is your You'll have to check your local codes, but around here, 8 inches is the, the max height you can go, and uh, 10 or 11 inches is, is about how deep your tread needs to be. So you divide 24 by 8, obviously that's 3, but it's 23 and a half, so we're going to do a 7 and 7 and 7 eighths inch rise. <clears throat> so I'm going to mark that right here, 7 and 7 eighths on my board. And then I'm going to come over and then do my 10 inch tread, which is the part that you step on. This is just a piece of scrap material. I'm not using this for my stringer. This is just something I'm making a pattern out of. So I take that, just grab a straight edge, which is anything that's basically straight. And then just line it up with those two marks and draw a line. Now there are lots of ways to make stair stringers, but this one I used, I framed this house. Uh, it made it a lot easier to figure them out. I, it's a two story, lots of stairs, and uh, it just takes a lot of the brain work out of it. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna cut this off. I'm gonna stay just to this side of my line with my skill saw so that my actual pattern piece is the size that I've marked. Okay, so now it's pretty easy to tell this one's shorter than this one. So this is going to be my rise and that's my tread. Now for this one, I'm just using these little short pieces of uh, rim board. Some people call it rim joist, um, but you can get it at your local lumberyard. It's the best stuff to use uh, for uh, stair stringers. It's really strong. You can get it in really long lengths. You've got inch and an eighth type, and then the, and the inch and a quarter is what you really want to use uh, for stair stringers. <clears throat> so the first thing that you want to do is figure out what the material is that's going to go on your stair tread itself that you're going to step on. In my case, we're just going to put some 2 by material. So I've got just a scrap 2 by 4 um, so I'm going to pull this down. I've got my, I've got my cut edge that I just made. I'm going to lay that on the side of my uh, board here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hold it, make sure that I'm flat with the edge, and pull it down until this corner meets. Again, so I'm going along my, my 7 and 7 eighths distance, and I'm making a line here. And then I've got this little point the hits, I'll take the point of this and make my next one. I'm gonna line this point up right up with that. Make sure that I'm flush with my board again. And then I'll sketch this whole, both sides of it. <clears throat> and now this is the same thing. I'm just doing a small set here, but if you had a hundred steps, you could do the same thing. You just add this piece and just keep working your way up. Obviously we're just making a pattern here that we're going to cut with the saw. Uh, this is kind of darker material so I've got to put a lot of lines on it to see it, but uh, hopefully you can see it in the video, but I've got this nice zigzag going up. Um, okay, back to my first step here before we get too far. What I'm going to do, I've, I've taken my board, it's like this, I'm just flipping it the other way so I can line my point up here. And I'm going to draw basically the floor on this. 
Now, the reason I need to know what I'm gonna be stepping on and how big it is is because I'm gonna add that to this step once it's cut and I'm gonna add it to this step once it's cut and that'll make it so that the distance by seven and seven eighths from here to here, once I add an inch and a half for my two by four and I add an inch and a half up here, they're gonna be the same. But I'm not adding any two by four to my garage floor. So I've gotta cut that much off this bottom one because that's gonna sit right on the concrete and then when I'm done, I'll be adding my two by four on the top. So I wanna cut that much off the bottom of this. So I've lined that, this two by four up with this line I just made here and I'm gonna cut this off. So now this will be removed and this will be removed as will these sections. Okay, now just to finish this up here, so this is just a really short run. I've got three total rises. My second, my third rise will just go right into the house. So all I need here are two steps. Again, this is the same with two steps or a hundred steps. Um, but this is actually for a project I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna stop this here and I'm lining my point up again right here. This is my tread length just to give myself a nice straight line on the back. So this will be all removed and this will go up against my wall going into the house. Then I'll have one more step up to my doorway going into my house up here. So now I'm gonna cut this section here. This is my little tiny stair stringer. But again, you can see this piece is really long. You could do 100 steps on it if you wanted to. So now let's just cut this out really quick. I'm gonna pause that. Okay, and one thing that I'm gonna say, you probably already know this, but I'll just point it out since I'm doing it anyway, is you've got a depth uh, gauge on most of these saws. Just release it here. So I've got an arrow right here, say I'm cutting two inches, inch and a half, one inch. So I'm cutting an inch and a quarter. So I'm just gonna come up just a hair past that, just to give me some variance uh, in case my piece isn't perfectly flat. So I'm just gonna cut an inch and a quarter. That's how thick this piece is. So I'm not going to cut into my bottom piece too much and mess it up. It'll just be some faint lines. cut past this if you'd like but I don't know it kind of bugs me to have that so I just will cut this out now with a handsaw but we'll just do two of these now and then again this sits on the concrete floor this goes up you put the 2x4 on here and I'll have my rise from the floor 7 and 7 eighths and then same thing, I've got seven and seven eighths here. And when I add two inch and a half and an inch and a half there, we'll have what we need. And that's how you cut stairs here.